I want to talk about Daylight light stream, the world of reflected light. The practice of reflecting light is as old as image creation. Every one of us has used reflectors. Here, a Polish feature film with mole beam lights going straight up and the light being reflected into the top floor rooms of the building. When I was shooting a series of movies in Indonesia, many of the houses had roofs that reached all the way down, and the people lived on a raised platform. I covered tabletops with reflective material, reflected the sunlight on the inside of the roofs, and covered those again with different hard reflectors or crumpled up soft reflectors, and it all worked absolutely beautiful. Now, we and many others build reflectors. We presently have five different sizes of reflectors with four different surfaces for different spread angles. And a fifth one with a more spreading character is being added right now. The key and the gate opener to the system is obviously light. Could be the sun, but then with no sun available, the best results can be reached with parallel light. This provides the character of natural light coming from a far distance. Not quite common knowledge is that the light for our parallel beam PB70 does not really come from the light head, but from a virtual light source way behind. And that is why the illusion of natural light from a big distance, is easily reached. We're doing a movie at Astra. It's a James Gray film. And uh, with Hoyt von Hoytema is the director of photography, the PV70. We tested it in camera tests. When we tested, we tested mole beams. We tested 18Ks. We bounced lamps into mirrors. We did everything we could think of and nothing compared to the PV70. And it was exactly what we were looking for a perfectly parallel and even light that replicated the sun and it has made our life very, very easy. Thus, the illusion of sunlight from a big distance could be achieved. Many beam lights are available in our industry and also many lights could be used in their spot function. Still, looking a little bit closer into it, we are the kings. We excel from a mere 1.2 kilowatt parabolic light at 20 meter distance, 60 feet, we achieve 18,000 lux. That is 1,670 foot candle. Whilst, for example, a 4K HMI light in spot would give you only a quarter, 4,800 lux or 450 foot candle. And a 9K HMI, M90, would give you 13,000 lux or 1,200 foot candle in their spot position. So this is the more powerful solution for a clean and homogeneous beam fed from any household fuse. Our particular pride though is in the evolution of Daedalite optical systems, which now culminate in the added parallel beam intensifier for all of our 21 different focusing data lights. The following example may appear like a miracle. Our HMI 400 watt light offers the best focus range worldwide, 1 to 20, better, clean, more efficient, and with a spot of much further reach. Those lights are special. They're not just ordinary lights, they're special lights. DLH 400 in its classic setup, and we love this light. It's just this beautiful sort of small HMI that's totally precision with a, with a five degree to 58 degree flood. It has a huge amount of power to it. A lot of energy, a lot of light coming out of the head, which if you need it, it's there for you. Great light quality, really sharp. The new miracle takes us now beyond because with the parallel beam intensifier, 
we add an extra 500%. So that's, that's revolutionary, that's quite yeah. game changing. The parallel beam adapter. So this is the thing that basically turns this little light, little hard light into part of the light stream system. The same holds true for our smallest light, a bicolor LED light with merely two times 40 watt. At the same distance and spot, you reach 700 lux. And with the parallel beam intensifier, it goes up to 7,000 lux. The resulting beams, you can redirect and create complete lighting for sets with multi-reflection, multi-direction, reflecting from far and from opposite directions. But when you combine it with a parallel beam adapter, then you're into another dimension. The light stream system is something that really interests me. I think it has the most wonderful use. I've seen it used in places where you could not put a light. Light stream is incredible. I mean, at the moment we're using a 400 on the floor. It's going into a one meter by one meter number four that's giving us lovely soft fill. And then from the same lamp, we're using three smaller reflectors. So one little reflector lighting the actual light. A that's little the bit number harder. one. And then we've got two little reflectors picking up us as a little key Just lights. Just lifting our face a bit and so from, popping out. You know, we've used three lights to do this yeah. setup and we've got two backlights out of one light. Three lights, we've made seven sources. You may also place many reflectors in a linear row for parallel beams, which again supports the impression of natural lights because the beams and shadows will not be diverging. The revolutionary light stream practice provides no limitation. On the contrary, an expansion of creative freedom, faster work, cleaner sets, and it improves to be the most economical version. At the same time, the biggest step in ecology, green tech. It doesn't stop at the drama production or the bigger studio work. We also have a new development called Lightstream Light for the very small team, which can work as a standalone reflected light system, but also be integrated into the larger system. Also, nearly finished in its development is Lightstream Tabletop, with many incredible new additions of reflective surfaces and accessories.